Good evening, I'm David Johnson. I'm Edie Tarbox. Up next on the Night Beat, Governor Casey makes good on his word. And we now have the toughest abortion laws in the country. Operation Rescue mounts another protest, but behind the scenes pro-choice people come up with a new idea. Is it that time of the year already? Yes, it is. Dennis Bowman will have the weekend forecast. And in sports, John Fedko takes us on a tour of the WPIAL semifinals. In Washington, senators work tonight trying to decide if they deserve a raise. It's all next on the Night Beat tonight. Which one do you like? That one. Oh, yeah. Dad, look at that guy. Hey! Just look at my boy. Dad! Dad! I want a bigger piece than that. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> my favorite. And mine, too. <laughs> From Warner Home Video. Nicholson, Keaton, Batman. <laughs> Batman, the movie. Available at Hills on video cassette. Just $15.97 every day at Hills. A man called Dad is the most important man in his life. And even though the time between them has a way of passing a little too quickly, there's one thing that can make it last. A Lionel train. For nearly 90 years, Lionel trains have come with something special. The power to move two people closer together and let them build something neither one will ever forget. Lionel. Because no childhood should be without a train. This is Channel 11, WPXI-TV, Pittsburgh. Live from Television Hill, this is Channel 11 News Nightbeat with David Johnson, Edie Tarbox, Dennis Bowman with the weather outside, and John Fedko with sports. Now, Channel 11 News Nightbeat. Good evening, I'm David Johnson. I'm Edie Tarbox. Up first on the Nightbeat, pro-life forces claim a victory, but pro-choice members plan a counterattack in their battle over abortion. First of all, our governor, Robert Casey, has signed Pennsylvania's abortion bill, and tonight we have made history. Not only does Pennsylvania now have the toughest abortion controls in the country, we also are the first state to take action since the Supreme Court said we could do so earlier this year. But those demanding abortion rights have not given up, announcing their latest abortion plan, while pro-abortion uh, protesters, anti-abortion protesters, demonstrated in Washington. This is how it looked in Washington today as Operation Rescue went on the offensive again, blocking the entrances at four abortion clinics. More than 700 are arrested. This bill, the Freedom of Choice Act, will now be in the public domain. Inside, pro-choice forces aren't concerned with the demonstrators because they've launched their own attack, introducing what they call the Freedom of Choice Act. It works like this. If the act gets congressional approval, it will protect abortion under the constitutional right to privacy. It also calls for national guidelines to keep states from establishing their own abortion laws, just like the one Governor Casey signed today. Those congressmen supporting the act have a political motive. And what the pro-choice forces across this country are going to be doing is saying to candidates, Mr. or Mrs. Candidate, how do you stand on the Freedom of Choice Act? If you don't stand with us, we don't stand with you. Here in Pittsburgh, where the abortion issue has sometimes led to violence, both sides are trying to interpret the move. Now with the uh, Webster decision, in which they, they showed some openness to states legislating, we have the pro-abortion people now coming back and, and trying to use legislation to hold on to what they achieved through the, or through the, the judiciary, through the court. I think that legis a legislative initiative provides a lot of protection uh, from the states. In the Webster decision, Rehnquist said that, this, that the Webster decision was not to be an invitation to the states to go back to the dark ages and pass highly restrictive legislation. Now in Washington, those who support the bill say it will help voters pick their candidates since it forces debate on abortion in Congress. Edie? 
This word just in from Washington. The Senate has approved a pay raise and ethics bill, but not before legislators developed a bad case of cold feet. The Senate was considering a bill that would raise salaries for congressmen by about $30,000 a year. That's the version the House okayed yesterday. Then late tonight, that bill was pulled by Senate leaders, and a plan calling for a more gradual pay raise put in its place. Just a few minutes ago came word from Washington that senators voted yes. Under the compromise plan, senators will get a raise of just under 10 percent, while members of the House will get the original 35 percent raise. David? Meantime, back here at home, uh, the war on drugs is going to the dogs, and by that I mean specifically trained drug-sniffing canines, will now be used in the Pittsburgh school system. This dog is named Bark. It's the first day he was brought in for an unannounced spot check at Alderdice High School in Squirrel Hill. Bark did his job well, but fortunately, no drugs were found, and in the coming weeks, drug agents will be taking Bark to other schools in the city. Tonight, police are still searching for the man on this videotape, the one who walked into a Bloomfield snack shop early this morning, put a gun to a man's head, and demanded money. All of this was recorded on a surveillance camera at Ron's Bloomfield snack shop, which has been robbed three times so far this year. The gunman made off with $166 cash. Weather experts blame a tornado for the tragedy at a New York elementary school yesterday. They say it was definitely a tornado that hit Coldenham Elementary School, about 60 miles north of New York City. The high winds broke a glass and brick wall in the cafeteria. Of the 100 kids eating inside, seven were killed, 19 injured. Today, flags flew at half-staff, and the entire school district closed for the day. Today was also the day many folks returned home to Huntsville, Alabama, or we should say they returned to what is left of their homes following this week's tornadoes there. President Bush today declared the area a disaster site, and that makes these people eligible for federal aid. Many of them will need it. About 500 families were left homeless by the storm. It took 17 lives. David? It's always hectic for motorists traveling on Los Angeles highways, but today things got even worse when a plane crashed on the San Diego freeway. A single-engine Cessna 172 crash-landed on the highway earlier tonight, injuring both men on board, one of them critically. No one was hurt on the ground and no cars were hit, fortunately. The plane was heading for a landing at the Van Nuys Airport a mile from the scene when the pilot radioed he was having engine trouble. Power lines apparently caused the plane to flip over. Overseas news, Czechoslovakia saw one of its biggest demonstrations in years as some 20,000 people took to the streets of Prague today. These people are demanding free elections in a country now ruled by communists. The demonstration was not peaceful. Riot police stormed the crowd, beating the protesters and firing tear gas. Many of them were hurt. The death toll is in from El Salvador. We're fighting broke out again this week. That's just one of the stories making tonight's World in a Minute. In El Salvador, reports that at least 800 people are dead, more than twice that number wounded following this week's fighting. Many of those caught in the crossfire are children. An F-16 pilot from Warren, Ohio, is safe, but his jet's underwater off the Florida coast. Air Force pilot Anthony Montecalvo ejected after noticing something wrong. New York Governor Mario Cuomo presented Solidarity Leader Lech Valenza with a bust of President Lincoln and a pledge that Lincoln's writings on democracy will be translated into Polish. Tomorrow, Valenza will travel to Pennsylvania. In Washington, President Bush signs the minimum wage bill. It's the first hike in nine years and affects some four million workers nationwide. The minimum wage will now go up to 425 by 1991. Once his work was finished, the president met his Thanksgiving turkey in an annual ceremony on the White House lawn. The bird will not be eaten. Instead, it will go to a petting zoo. And in New York City, the holiday's biggest tourist attraction has arrived. The 70-foot Norway spruce goes up at the Rockefeller Center. And that's a look at the world in a minute. Nice looking tree, big one. It is big. <laughs> Many people think that this is the first weekend of winter. Technically it's not, but it sure is going to feel that way. Dennis Bowman has more on that outside right now. Hi, Dennis. Mm Hi, -hmm. certainly has that feel to it, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It's uh, breezy and cold. It'll be another night of snow action north of Interstate 80. Flurries here, back with a forecast in detail for your weekend in just a moment. Prices are lower. The deals are unbeatable at Don Allen Chevrolet. New S10 pickups, fuel injection, five speed, just $73.95. New full size pickups, air, tilt wheel, stereo, $11,295. And brand new S10 blazers, top 4x4 power, just $13,995. Go for it now. Make your move on a new Chevy truck at Don Allen Chevrolet. Unbeatable for 38 years. What would our city be like had it not been for volunteers? Our neediest neighborhoods would chip and peel. 
Our libraries would be but a dusty jungle. Our performing arts might never perform. Please help see that these and other programs in your area stay alive. Call Channel 11's Volunteer Connection. Tell the operator of your interest, availability, and location. She'll match you with a volunteer project in your area. Call Channel 11's Volunteer Connection in partnership with Bell of Pennsylvania, a Bell Atlantic company. If you are out a lot, get call forwarding, because now the service connection is free. Then, when you're not at home, like now, you can forward your calls to where you are, which means you could pick up that ringing phone. So call 1-800-444-8849, or you'll miss this free offer. Come on, get home and call. We even left out the picture so you could see the number better. Hey, that's no way to run your car or your heat pump heating and cooling system. The heat pump is the most efficient way to keep your home comfortable today. But Train introduces a technical breakthrough. The XV1500 Variable Speed Heat Pump. It runs at lower speeds up to 70% of the time, making it the world's most efficient and comfortable heat pump ever. Why, with a Train Variable Speed, you'll be ready for the next century. For the quality choice electric heat pump, call Blackhawk Mechanical Contracting or Arendosh Heating and Cooling. When we have the kind of temperatures we had today, it's not unusual to see uh, snow on the ground. We didn't have it. They had it in Erie. Yeah, but... when it gets that cold outside, you expect that it's going to kind of start seeing the white stuff coming down. But, uh, yeah, they had a lot of it in Erie. Well, they had uh, four inches at the airport, and there were parts uh, around the Erie area that picked up as much as a half a foot of snow last night and uh, through early this morning. And they'll probably pick up another two to three. In fact, the National Weather Service has posted a snow advisory for northwestern Pennsylvania this evening. Again, it's north of Interstate 80, and down in our neck of the woods, we're just going to see a few flurries, and uh, that's going to be about it. Right now, we have a cloudy sky. I can tell you that. We have no snow falling on us here on the weather deck this evening. We're at 30 degrees, and as you can see, it's just been a, a day where we chilled out. 33 was our high, 25 was the low this morning, and uh, just a trace of snowfall for the city of Pittsburgh. Well, we'll take a walk over and check out some area temperatures for you tonight. Bear in mind, it is primarily a cloudy evening all across the board, and uh, the national the weather radar has been showing just uh, you know a little bit of light snow activity, and much of it is aloft, not reaching the ground. So let's read out some temperatures here. Buffalo is at 30 degrees, and uh, it is snowing up there once again. 27 in State College, and uh, about as warm as it gets around here is Columbus, Ohio now, coming in at 35 degrees. Let's replace these now with wind chill factors for you, and they have tamed just a little bit as the winds of uh, well they're not so ferocious here this evening although buffalo coming in at four above zero a very modest 20 degrees on the wind chill factor at state college and down at charleston it's hanging on at 30 degrees morgantown chili at 16 and up at erie a 12 above zero wind chill factor uh, tonight i have a low pressure center that is uh, over the uh, uh, the great lakes area and it's uh, spreading some snow up there muskegon mission get, got uh, three inches of snow in about an hour and they have seven on the ground up that way the snow does continue it is this low pressure center that's approaching our neck of the woods it'll stay just north of us and it's going to just basically give us some flurry activity before i do anything else let me show you the satellite sequence now this is playing through from one o'clock rather four o'clock this afternoon up until 10 this evening and here go the pictures and notice that there is a wedge of clearing out to the west here and uh, once we get the snow action out of the way during the day tomorrow we figured at least Sunday is going to have a fair amount of sunshine as high pressure is going to slide on in this way also a warm front is taking shape out there and by the time Monday and Tuesday roll around we are looking for yeah, a little moderation in the temperatures. Okay, back to the maps here, and I'll show you what's going to happen uh, for tomorrow. Uh, we will see that high pressure just not too far away from us, and the warm front right on the heels of it. And there will be some showers and thunderstorms, not snow, down across a good deal of Texas, and showers and snowflakes out towards the Pacific Northwest. Well, here's the way it looks now in uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, I got just a little bit of breeze in my face here, folks. 30 degrees, 18 on our chill factor. It's a southerly wind at 9 miles per hour accounting for that. And thank goodness we don't have the 30 and 40 mile per hour gusts of 24 hours ago. Relative humidity is at 60%. The pressure falling at 29.95. Here's your AccuWeather forecast. Mostly cloudy flurries, breezy and cold out at 25 tonight. Tomorrow, uh, rather cloudy, some flurries early on, 33 for the high. And by tomorrow night, 
We'll see some clearing after some evening flurries down to 20. Here's your five days. Sunday, some sunshine. Maybe a lot of it. 36 degrees. Partly sunny Monday and Tuesday and 49s. That sounds like the middle of summer now. And some snow showers due just the day before Thanksgiving. And temperatures holding in the low 30s on that day. So it looks like it could be a rather brisk Thanksgiving day, but that's still quite a ways out. So we'll keep our eyes on that. But enjoy the heck out of the weekend. All right. It's... Well, enjoy the 49 degrees every, yeah. every single day. <laughs> Sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Been too cold, right. and we talked about the snow in Erie. They had quite a bit today. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at how they uh, dealt with it. They dealt with it that way with the trucks. Yeah, it's a lot of snow on the ground, didn't it? They had four to six inches overnight, and the scrapers were out, and the snow shovels. So we came off pretty good, didn't we? Oh, such fun! <laughs> Even better, the, the lottery for Pennsylvania. Here are the results. The daily number for November 17th, 169. It's a big four night, those numbers 5698, and a wild card night, those winners. 14, 15, 16, 33, 40, 42, wild card number 7. Kind of a sad night, yeah. though a happy night. Kind of because historic, too. It, historic? Yeah. How so? The last skylights of the 80s. Right. Of the 80s. Yeah, very That's historic, right. isn't it? Well, of all the exciting action, it was the Whitfield semifinals, the last skylight of the 80s. Could you ask for more? No. Stay tuned. Great turkey, huh? John, your friend eats like an animal. He is a mercury cat. Well, Timmy, guess your dad's pretty thankful for the deal he got on that cougar. Not to mention the cash back. Yeah, this week during his Thanksgiving feast, your Lincoln Mercury dealer's serving up deals in every car and stock. From cougar to sable to topaz, even Lincoln Town Car. All stuffed with features, so come feast your eyes on a great deal. Or keep that turkey you're driving now. Timmy! Don't miss the Thanksgiving feast at your Lincoln Mercury dealer. Come in today. Finally, the radio station you've been waiting to hear. The new Gold 96 FM. Playing the classic hits of the 60s, 70s, and today. On the new Gold 96 FM, you'll hear only the best oldies. Along with your favorites from today. Try us now and hear classic hits of the 60s, 70s, and today. On the new Gold 96 FM. It's time to celebrate the season. I'm Edie Tarbach. And I'm David Johnson. Kaufman's Channel 11 and Whammo Radio's gift to you unwraps at the Celebrate the Season Holiday Parade. Our superstar lineup includes Blair Underwood from L.A. Law, Dear John, Terry Groner, Sandy Ferguson from Another World. Plus Jeopardy's Alex Trebek, Elena Reed Hall from 227, wrestler Dusty Rhodes, and Lassie's John Provost. Celebrate the Season Holiday Parade, Saturday, November 25th, starting at 9 a.m. Excuse me, Mother. Seven, eleven, twenty-one. The Pennsylvania Lottery's new instant game with three winning combinations. Lots of chances at a tidy little windfall of up to $1,000 instantly. And millions of chances at $1 million on a weekly TV spin. Seven, eleven, twenty-one. Buy yours wherever Pennsylvania Lottery instant games are sold. Good night, Mother. Nostalgic night. Oh. You know? yeah. yeah, we had beautiful football weather out there. You know, Real cold, cold, though. But uh, no, nothing coming out of the skies. Love with snow and rain. And I Good. love it. Kind of a storm. You know, this is it, folks. The final night of Skylights this year. The Whippy Old Semifinals tonight. Fasten your seatbelts. And here we go. On this last night of Skylights, our Skylights crew has promised me something special. They say that we have a guest pilot tonight. I can't wait to fly tonight with probably somebody like Chuck Yeager or Neil Armstrong. Let's see who's going to be flying Chopper 11 tonight with me. It'll probably be... Oh, no! First up tonight, Edie pilots us on a trip to Dormont Stadium for the AAA semifinal game between Seneca Valley and Brownsville. Thanks, Brownsville fans, for the nice sign. And a special thanks to the Seneca Valley faithful. And yes, I will check you out, Seneca Valley. Seneca's Raiders struck first. Quarterback Sean O'Shea does the honors himself. 7-0 Seneca Valley. Brownsville tried to keep it close. And they were aided by Rod like this one from Art Gregory. But the Raiders hit again just before halftime. A Mickey Flock field goal made a 10 zip. And Seneca Valley goes on to win and move into the AAA Finals. 
Our second stop was Ed Montour for the double-A game between New Brighton and Steel Valley. A special thanks to the Steel Valley fans and cheerleaders for their great welcome for our Skylights crew. And they're loving. The fact goes on. This game sure started out with a bang. Watch this. New Brighton's Gabe Jackson takes the opening kickoff all the way. 7-0. New Brighton. But Steel Valley's Marcel Weems would steal the show. He goes 10 yards for this score that tied the game. Then how about this 13-yard TD joint? You get the idea. It's Marcel Madness. Here's Weems again. This time, 32 yards for another score. Five. Count them. Five TDs on the night for Weems. Steel Valley rolls into the AA Finals with a 42-13 pasting of New Brighton. Our third stop was Ed Baldwin for the big quad A semifinal game between Upper St. Clair and Woodland Hills. And these fans know who's the one to watch. This was Upper St. Clair's night on fourth and inches. Quarterback Mark Gentilly goes up top to Pat Conley for this goal. 6-0 Panthers. Then the defense took over. Woodland Hills quarterback John Sander picked off by Upper St. Clair's Bill Dunn. And he can't go all the way. He does. 13-0 Panthers. Then Gentilly goes airborne again. Deep to Phil Dunn on offense. 19-0 Upper St. Clair. They go on to win 27 zip. They're headed for the Quad A Finals. Our last stop is the huge North Hills North Allegheny rematch, the Battle of the North Hills. There was love in the air, and A was in their own zone, and those Fedco masks are still hot items. First quarter, North Hills quarterback Jeff Bender to his brother Jason Bender. What a catch. Touchdown. It was 7 0 North Hills. Second quarter, North Allegheny. Augie Leon goes into the end zone for the six points, but NA misses the extra point. They trail by one. Still second quarter, North Allegheny's Paul Fela intercepts in North Hills territory. That set up an NA field goal, but North Hills will go on to win this game 20 to 17. North Hills goes to the Quad A Finals. Once again, I'd like to thank the fans, the bands, and the players. It's been a wonderful year of Skylights. Just think back on all those magical moments. It's kind of like a dream. started skylights this year but i know what i want skylights to be like next year i can see it now <laughs> you're out of control that's what it'll be like every by the way edie drove you know the chopper tonight no accident well she you no, know but, but, but she parked in a in a illegal zone and got his toe thanks edie. <laughs> okay here's our matchups Next Saturday at Three River Stadium, Upper St. Clair versus North Hills for the Quad A Championship. Upper St. Clair looking to repeat. Aliquippa will play Seneca Valley for the Triple A Championship. Aliquippa looking to repeat. In Class Double A, Steel Valley versus Freeport for the Double A Championship. Steel Valley looking to repeat. And in Class A, Laurel wins, Clareton wins. It'll be Laurel versus Clareton for the championship of Class A next Saturday at Three Rivers. Congratulations to all those teams. The nine-year career of Washington Redskins defensive end Dexter Manley may be over very soon. He is in danger of being banned permanently from the NFL for drug abuse. Manley and his attorney Bob Wolf met with NFL Commissioner Paul Tagliabu this morning. Following reports, Dexter tested positive for a third time for cocaine use. A third offense in the NFL means a lifetime ban. Redskins coach Joe Gibbs is sad about the incident. He says it's like having a family member in trouble. Basically, it's just like uh, somebody that was in your family. Uh, you realize that somebody's got to pay a price if they do things that are wrong. I think it'd be the same for your son, my sons. And you, you still care for them, but you realize, too, that there's a price to be paid, and this is going to be a heavy price. One former Oklahoma player, this guy, Glenn Bell, has been found innocent, but two others are guilty of first-degree rape charges. Involving an Oklahoma co-ed last winter, the pair declared guilty are Nigel Clay and Bernard Hall. They face 10-year prison terms and $10,000 fines. 
The Pitt Panthers will be looking for their sixth win in nine outings tomorrow afternoon when they host East Carolina at 1.30 at Pitt Stadium. Mike Gottfried's crew is favored by 15 and a half points. After East Carolina, the Panthers have games with Penn State and Rutgers before heading to the John Hancock Bowl in El Paso, Texas. The Pens are off tonight. They'll make it or try to make it three wins in a row tomorrow night when they host the New York Islanders at the Civic Arena. Let's hope the Pens haven't lost their scoring touch after tallying 14 goals in the past two victories. In New Jersey, the Devils and Rangers in OT. New Jersey's Kirk Muller will tip it in. Past Rangers goalie John Van Beesbrook, the Devils win, and the Pens remain nine points behind the first-place Rangers. New Jersey wins 5-4 to four in OT. Edmonton beating Buffalo in the second period. This summer, Nick Asaski hit 30 homers, drove in 108 runs with the Boston Red Sox. Well, that banner year helped him get a three-year, $5.7 million free agent contract with the Atlanta Braves today. Asaski hated to leave Boston, but he's close to home in Atlanta, and he's $5.7 million richer. Edie, thanks for playing the chopper tonight. Those we'll have to get it out of the pound me. now. I'll get it by Monday. Okay, thanks. Can't we don't need it till next year. Don't worry about it. Right, more skylights is concerned. The, the finds, you know, okay. tally up. Yeah. All right, the holiday's coming up fast, and so is this break. The party season is ready to get underway. And if you like to play it safe, like me, you should have been downtown tonight. That's next on the night feed. Announcing a new generation of owner satisfaction. We're so sure you'll love your new Oldsmobile. We'll let you return it within 30 days or 1,500 miles if you don't. Who else does that? Unlike some warranties, Oldsmobile's covers just one part. This is the part. Oldsmobile now offers roadside assistance around the clock, even in places where there aren't any clocks. See your local Oldsmobile dealer. Honey, where are my socks? Honey, where are my socks? Honey, where are my socks? At IKEA, Honey, we put our socks? furniture through three years of everyday home use in just one week. Have a seat. Have a seat. We call our quality testing Mobile Facta. Each item has to pass the test before it wears the Mobile Facta label. Mom, can I have a cookie? 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 IKEA, the home furnishing store from Sweden. You're going to get hurt. 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 My kid, always wanted to try something different. Aye, matey. <laughs> so now he wants to try these new Long John Silvers, fish and dip. That I do. <laughs> Warm home style fillets with your choice of dips. Honey mustard, sweet and sour, spicy taco, and barbecue. All for just $2.99. Shiver me timbers. Kids, fish and dips. New at Long John Silvers. James, Hi. I bought you a pet. Aw, oh, Dad. We got the Toyota Camry because we both need a car with a lot of room. Mrs. Martino has like about 10,000 suitcases full of junk she packs in their car for trips. When we travel, Pat and I both have a lot of stuff. But it's never a problem loading the Camry. Mr. Martino has like about one suitcase this big, but he gets to drive. <laughs> I love what you do for me, Toyota. And finally tonight, you know, when the cold weather hits, it's winter. It's also the party season. That means for some, drinking, but hopefully not driving. That's what Mothers Against Drunk Driving is trying to remind everyone about. They had a kickoff mocktail party with non-alcoholic drinks at the Rivers Club in Oxford Center tonight. Our own Asa Ahrens was there speaking on the importance of safe driving. So remember, there he is. Make this a happy holiday season and a safe one for all of us, too. And look out for Edie. If she's flying over you, <laughs> make room for her to park. They, they took her flying license away tonight. Stop it, you guys. <laughs> that is the night beat for this Friday. Our next news is in 30 minutes on Channel 11, your 24-hour news source station. Good night. Have a good weekend. <laughs>
Once I drove that Acura, I didn't want to get into another car. I didn't care if I ever drove another car. I found in the Acura an automobile that has a luxury ride with a sports car feel. My Acura is reliable, beautiful, and precise. It's a wonderful car. It really is. There's no question that there's quality in that car. If you drive an Acura, you'll buy an Acura. Johnny Signa, my crystal ball is full of surprises for KDK radio listeners. Yeah? They can win trip, new car, jewels, thousands of dollars worth of prizes. How, Gypsy? With I Love KDK bumper sticker, they put out an automobile. If sticker is spotted, they could be winner. Where do they get the stickers? This is crystal clear. They listen to KDK radio for details. Gypsy, anything in there for me? I see dark-haired woman, charming accent, loves KDKA. Johnny, where do you go? Announcing the most generous offer in the history of Apple Computer. The Apple Free Trial Run. Your chance to experience a Macintosh or Apple II personal computer with absolutely no risk whatsoever. No other computer company in the world has ever dared to make an offer this generous. The Apple Free Trial Run. For details and participating dealers, see your Sunday paper. Silo. Silo. Everything that turns you on. Now. A Chippendale bachelorette party, Monday at 9 on Geraldo.